Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. The Israeli elections are going on right now, and while this is not a political channel, this is a channel that's focused on the coming of Mashiach. And when politics happen to involve themselves in the coming of Mashiach, they're worth mentioning. And we don't know who has emerged victorious from these elections yet, but one thing is for sure, Hashem is getting the world ready for the coming of Mashiach, and for a while now, there's been a left-wing government in the land of Israel. And let's just say that there's, it's looking like it may be, that, that may be about to change. And this will have major implications on the geopolitical situation, on the, you know, the standard of, you know, the religious situation, because the government so far has, in the past little while, has not been so... Let's just say they haven't involved themselves as much as, not even close to as much as we'd like in the uh, glorification of Hashem's name, in the spreading of Torah and mitzvahs. Let's hope that Hashem, let's pray to Hashem that He brings in a government that will bring the coming of Mashiach. And we know that we do not rely on governments, we rely on the Almighty and we rely on His servant, David Amalek, and the, the Mashiach. So we know that as, as much as this is exciting, and we know that this surely is exciting, and it's involved in the coming of Mashiach, because everything around the world is a process of the Mashiach's coming. So Hashem is, Hashem, Hashem there's nothing else besides Hashem, but Hashem sometimes, in order to create the world, Hashem has to enclose Himself. I mean, he doesn't, Hashem doesn't have to do anything, but He chooses to enclose Himself within the world. And therefore, he reveals himself to us through every event that takes place. Everything around us is a manifestation of Hashem, Hashem's light. And Hashem is causing the world to, 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 be, to function in a certain way. And so these major events are surely a hashkacha pratis. They're the choice of the divine. We should know that this is very exciting. We pray that Hashem will bring, uh, you know, will bring Mashiach immediately. And this is something to get excited about. And surely, you know, We've seen a left-wing government for a while, and whatever happens, it will have a major effect on the way the world functions, especially the way the Holy Land, the, the you know, the government of the people here in the Holy Land, the way they function. But of course, we know that Hashem is the Almighty. Hashem is the one we're voting for, and so are the the righteous ones. And the the government is just is something that manif is is, is Hashem's choice, and it's and it will have an effect on the way the world functions and we know that this is this is something to get excited about because we know that there's tension there could be tension there could be there could be events major events that take place that accelerate this process of the coming of mashiach so we will see what happens my friends and let's get excited because whatever happens is the choice of the almighty and uh, we feel the energy here in the holy land there's energy people are are are, are, are interested in, in knowing who is going to emerge victorious in these elections. We know that Lubavitcher Tshereb always emphasizes that on the idea of Shlemus Haaretz, that the land has to, that the land belongs to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their descendants, and no one will take that away from us. And it's important that the people who are elected, that they also, not just also, but they actually put that at the forefront of their leadership is that the Shlemus Arts, that this land belongs to the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And nothing will, will take that away from us. And, and adding to that, that this land, the people here, that we have to follow Hashem's will. And that is through Torah and mitzvahs and acts of kindness. And this is something that to be excited about. Let's pray. Let's pray for Mashiach to come. We're not going to be satisfied. Whatever government emerges, we're not satisfied because we want Mashiach. That's the ultimate plan. That's uh, this is all you know. You know this is all. Uh, you know it's uh, a lot of noise and it's whatever. At the end of the day, we want Mashiach. We want Hashem to send His servant, the Messiah, to bring us out of exile into the redemption where Hashem's glory will shine forth throughout the entire world and the entire world Jewish and righteous Gentile will all experience the divine may Hashem bless you all may we experience this today please like comment share subscribe let's get this message going be well